Hi, welcome to TR Academy. This is the second part of the Indian National Movement starting from 1905 to 1916. This particular period is also called as the era of extremism. The extremist leaders were Lala Lajpat Rai, Bala Gangadhar Tilak, Bipin Chandra Pal and Aurobindo Ghosh. Let's see what are the causes for the rise of the extremism. The failure of moderators to win any notable success. The famine and plague of 1896 and 1897. The economic conditions of the people became worse. The ill treatment of Indians in South Africa on the basis of color of skin. The Russo Japanese War of 1904 to 1905, in which Japan defeated the European power. Reactionary rule of Lord Curzon. What exactly he did is that he passed the Calcutta Corporation Act in 1899, reducing the Indian control of this local body. The University Act of 1904 reduced the elected members in the university body. The Sedition Act and the Official Secrets Act reduced the freedom of all people. His worst measure was the partition of Bengal in 1905. What is the main objective of the extremist? to attain Swaraj and not just self-government. What are the methods took by the extremists? Not cooperating with the British government by boycotting government courts, schools and colleges. Promotion of Swadeshi and boycott of foreign goods. Introduction and promotion of national education. Let's see about uh, important leaders of the extremists. Lokamaniya Tilak. The extremists were led by Balagangadha Tilak, Lala Lajpat Rai, Bipin Chandra Pal and Aurobindo Ghosh. Whereas uh, Balagangadha Tilak played a prominent role in this. Balagangadha Tilak is regarded as the real founder of the popular anti-British movement in India. He was known as Lokamania. His weeklies are the Maratha and the Kesari. He set up Home Rule League in 1916 at Pune and declared Swaraj is my birthright and I will have it. Lala Lajpat Rai Lala Lajpat Rai is popularly known as Lion of Punjab. He played an important role in the Swadeshi movement. He founded the Indian Home Rule League in the US in 1916. Bipin Chandra Pal He played an important role in the Swadeshi movement. Arabindo Ghosh He settled in French territory of Pondicherry and concentrated on spiritual activities. Partition of Bengal and the rise of extremism. The partition of Bengal in 1905 provided a spark for the rise of extremism in the Indian national movement. The Curzon's real motives were to break the growing strength of Bengali nationalism since Bengal was the base of Indian nationalism, to divide Hindus and the Muslims in the Bengal, to show enormous power of the British government. And he brought the partition into effect on 16th October 1905. The anti-partition movement culminated into the Swadeshi movement. The aggressive nationalist force Dada by Naroji to speak of Swaraj. Moderators wanted Swaraj to be achieved through constitutional method. The differences led to a split in the Congress at the Surat session in 1907. This is popularly known as the famous Surat split. The Swadeshi movement. The Swadeshi movement involved programs like uh, the boycott of government services, courts, schools and colleges and of foreign goods and promotion of Swadeshi goods and promotion of national education. A great success in Bengal were obtained and even the landlords joined this movement. The women and students also took part in this particular movement. Let's see about the achievement of the extremists. They are the first to demand the Swaraj and they involve the masses. They are the first to organize an all India political movement. Formation of the Muslim League took place during this particular era of extremism. In December 1906, Muslim delegates from all over India met at Dhaka for the Muslim Educational Conference. The All India Muslim League was finally set up on December 30, 1906. The extremists enjoyed the support of the British. Their first achievement was the separate electorates for the Muslim in the Minto Morley reforms. The Lucknow Pact that happened in 1916. 
During the 1916 Congress session at Lucknow, two major events occurred. The divided Congress became united, and understanding for joint action against the British was reached between the Congress and the Muslim League, and it was called as the Lucknow Pact, the Home Rule Movement of 1916. Two Home Rule Leagues were established, one by Balagangadhar Tilak at Pune in April 1916, and the other by Mrs. Anne Besant at Madras in September 1916. The aim of the movement was to get self-government for India within the British Empire. While Tilak's movement concentrated on Maharashtra, Anne Besant's movement covered the rest of the country. On August 20th, 1917, Montagu, the Secretary of the State in England, promised a gradual development of self-governing institution in india will be formed revolutionary movements during the era of the extremist in bengal anusilan samiti and jugantar were established in maharashtra savarkar brothers had set up abhinav bharat in the madras presidency bharat mata association was started by nilaganda brahmachari Lala Hardial set up the Gadar Party in USA to organize revolutionary activities from outside India. That's all with the uh, second part of the Indian National Movement. We'll catch up with the third part. If you like this video, please click the like button, subscribe so that you get notification of the further videos that we are rolling out. Thank you very much for watching.